Hey guys, Ralph here. Happy New Year. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut, January 2nd, 2024. Life's good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, a friend of mine sent me this clip that I'm leaving down below. Oh my God. I mean, you know what I'm going to say. I've said it before. Magnificent Mendez. Talk about pop. Jeez, unbelievable. Anyway, let's get to it, and uh, let me honk a little bit. These are the first notes of 2024. Didn't play yesterday due to family obligations and whatnot. So uh, here we are. Let's see what we got. Start the new year off right. in, baby. Don't need no stinking warm-up. Anyway, drinking your banana juice, your banana milk. So anyway, what can I say about Rayfield Mendez that hasn't already been said that I said in a, um, in a video before? Ah, uh, first of all, I am almost done with a book of the month. It's been a long time, a long time. And I have, have a lot of new subscribers. So for those who don't know, uh, for years, I was the health and fitness um, columnist for a major Connecticut newspaper, okay, the Norwalk Hour. Uh, I since got let go with a lot of my colleagues uh, due to syndication. And surprise, surprise, Dr. Oz. <laughs> has my gig. Anyway, the point is I love writing articles. I get two, three pages of inspiration and I just knock it off, boom, send it to the paper. I have a few bucks in my bank account the next day. It's a beautiful thing. I love writing articles uh, as opposed to an actual book, which might take years. You know, I've written those too. But all my, um, all of my book of the months, I do have method books and all this sort of stuff, but my books, book of the month are just a series of articles uh, talking about videos that I have done. Now, we got a lot, a lot of response from my Vacchiano and me, Broyles and me, John Ware and me, and Jerry and me. We got a lot of response to that. So I am doing a series of articles on those four. That's going to be Vacchiano and me is going to be the lead. And then I go into other stuff, um, you know, pedagogy and Mendez or whatever the case may be. So I will let you know. It'll, it'll probably be available early next week. Ten bucks is all my books are, and I haven't done it for a while, so I'm kind of excited to get back to it. With that said, Mendez, you know, you talk about pop. It wasn't just fast. It was not just fast. And if you watch him play, he was not stretching. He was not overblowing. And the tongue was in the right place. Why he didn't have access to double C's, I'm going out on a limb here. One reason and one reason only, he's playing on a crappy mouthpiece. You put him out on one SB and it'd be unbelievable what you hear because everything else is right. And if legend, um, if legend uh, is true, tireless worker. I mean, up there with Doc Severinsen. I mean, all day long. Uh, Joe Triscari, if you could help us out in this. I believe, along with all the solo work, he, um, 
he did some time with you, with your uncles in, in the studios in LA, right? I think he did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. For our purposes, I'm leaving a link down below. It's perpetual motion, that Paganini thing that never stops. Now, he was quite adept at um, circular breathing, which I don't like because it just wreaks havoc with your compression. All of the players that I knew that were really adept at um, uh, circular breathing did not have the greatest jobs. Anyway, I don't know if there's a correlation there or not. Okay, now um, if you listen to uh, Mendez, Mendez's solo, uh, specifically the version of Macarena, um, he had an E above high C, maybe an F. The F sounded strange to me. I'm saying with a decent mouthpiece, you can play double C's. Now, guys, I've, I've said this before. Double C's doesn't mean you have to play a Maynard gig. That's not what I'm talking about, or a Bud Brisbois gig, or anything. That's not the case. But if Clark Terry had a double C, if Mendez had a double C, if Clifford Brown had a double C, can you imagine the effortless lines that we would hear from these guys that would, ju that would just be sublime? But that's neither here nor there. But the point is, his... Uh, his chops were right. Now, I understand he did have chop problems at some point. Got it back, and uh, blah, blah, blah. But um, anyway, check it out. Uh, Joe, if you have any info on that uh, regard from the West Coast, uh, we would like it. And uh, other than that, guys, Happy New Year. And guys, my God, start it off right. If you don't have a 1SB, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. A 1SB, the purchase of a 1SB comes with a free complimentary lesson, and I guarantee the best chops of your life. It may take more than one lesson, but the best chops of your life. Guaranteed. I've never had anybody that stuck with it that failed. That failed. Never. Anyway, that's it. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.